Where the forest whispers and the lake reflects the sky, we found a place to call our own. I'm Alex and this is my wife Sarah and together we found our home in the heart of Sweden. We made a video about our journey that you can watch right after this one. It's in the description. It wasn't just the scenic beauty that drew us here, but a deep, unspoken connection to the wild, to a life intertwined with the rhythms of nature. Our garden, once thriving under the summer sun, now sleeps under a soft white blanket of snow. The lake, the center of our summertime adventures, now rests quietly, sealed beneath a thick layer of ice. I'm on my morning walk with the dog before I start to work. Usually the cat joins us, but today he was like, nope, not gonna happen. It's way too cold. And it is, we have like minus 11 now and overnight almost minus 20. So it's really, really, really cold. We've had like very, um, yeah, varying temperatures. Like one day it's minus one and then the sky clears and overnight, boom, it drops to minus 20 but I love it I love this winter so much I love the cold I think it's way better than if you have um, a winter where it's like raining all the time and it's gray yeah this year it has been a proper winter a real winter the lake froze over it's really really cold yeah it's the best I love it and I really do enjoy those morning walks with the dog I think you haven't met him yet that's Lou and he has been our family dog for 15 years now, over 15 years. I think he loves the winter too. I just love to get out in the morning and get some sunlight even though it's not much <laughs> because it gets, yeah, it takes some time until it gets uh, light this time of the year. But we're already in the middle of January so it's getting lighter each day. Spring is gonna come someday <laughs> so we're gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful beautiful winter that we have here
Whenever a fresh snowfall blankets our home, it's our cue to go outside. There's an undeniable satisfaction in this simple task. Watching the snow vanish row by row feels almost therapeutic. And honestly, it's really fun to just push the snow over the edge, letting it fall where it may without a second thought. Maybe you can relate, or I don't know, maybe it's just us. Where we come from in Germany, winter used to be a bit of a wild card. We lived in a town near a big river, which means that the winter often was very foggy and rainy. And many winters, it wasn't a proper winter with really low temperatures and a lot of snow. And that has changed since we moved here. This winter especially. It was really, really cold. We had temperatures below minus 10 um, degrees Celsius, often minus 20, which meant one thing, the lake froze completely over. And that is amazing as it is, because then you can go out on the lake and you can use the lake not only in summertime, but also in wintertime to go for a walk on it. But this winter it was extra special because not only did it freeze over, it also stopped snowing for a period of time, which means that we had perfect flat black ice and we could go ice skating. <laughs> I remember that sometimes as kids we used to go ice skating on a lake and it was always very special but then I haven't done it in like 20 years. So this winter was the first time we did it again and it was really cool. You're out on the lake, you're all alone, you're in the middle of nature. Yeah, it was just very special. it all off we could even go skiing which was really really fun Alex and I haven't been skiing for like 10 years yeah it was really fun
we're recording a new song and this is the setup and Moritz is about to do the guitar hopefully in one try or he's gonna get a good a good beating <laughs> good spanking <laughs> good spanking afterwards <laughs> Really, really hard. I, I'm glad I don't have to play the guitar for this kind of recordings because I'm starting to sweat for him. <laughs> really, really hard. But Moritz is a professional. <laughs> you might have seen our music video to our latest song, Gold Rush. Funny thing is, we never really set out to write songs as a group of three. Music has always been a part of us. Sarah and Moritz used to be in a band together since they were kids, and I've always enjoyed playing the guitar since my college days. So this one evening we started playing together just for the fun of it, and that's how Gold Rush came about. I'm doing the vocals now. I've already done them once, but I was a bit sick and you could hear it, so now I'm, now I'm redoing them. And this is the vocal setup. It's a, it's a self-built vocal booth. I'm not taking credit for it because Alex built it. And it's there so that, um, yeah, the voice is... Crystal clear. Crystal clear without too much room sound. Boxy, dry. Yes, what he says. <laughs> <laughs> here, I got my lyrics here so that they don't forget them halfway through. And now we're gonna record the vocals to this mystery song. Our new song will be out soon. In the meantime, we would be so happy if you'd listen to Gold Rush. You can find it on every streaming platform or you can click on the info card in the right corner of the screen. Thank you for your support. I definitely did not expect the ice to be that thick. I think it's about 30 centimeters or so. Last winter it was maybe 15. So definitely we're gonna buy an ice driller, I don't know what it's called, and an ice, an ISOG for next winter so it is easier and yeah, not that exhausting. <laughs> Yes! Oh, oh. Ah. 
that's what I'm saying. At least 30 centimeters. Fun fact about the sauna, we got it a couple of weeks ago at the beginning of winter and um, it's not allowed to have a permanent building here down by the lake. But in Sweden there is quite the popular and legal workaround around this problem when you still want to have a nice sauna by the lake, which is just putting the sauna on a trailer. Problem solved. But let me tell you, it was quite, quite the adventure to get it down here. Almost there. One more meter to go. starting to freeze again. It's become our go-to winter tradition. When it's freezing outside, we head straight into the warmth. Outside the world is wrapped in snow, but inside it's a whole different world. Sitting in the heat, you can almost forget about the chill, feeling it melt away as the warmth seeps deep into your bones. It's not just about warming up, 
It's about giving ourselves a moment to relax and reset. And afterwards, the air feels crisper, the snow brighter, and the world more peaceful. It's a ritual that connects us more deeply to the season, to each other, and to the simple pleasures that make life so rich. No matter how cold it gets outside, in the sauna we find a cozy refuge. strike one so <laughs> I have to be careful well it's not like I'm overreacting one time when he was alone in the sauna he made it so hot that he actually had to lay down on the floor because because it was too hot when sitting or standing up so I'm not exaggerating here straight from hell In the end, it's these shared experiences that define our life during winter. It's not just about getting through the cold or counting the days until spring. It's about the warmth found in our everyday moments. So winter for us, it's about enjoying the little things and knowing that together they add up to a pretty good life.